In this video, we'll be learning how to use the Crop Tool. If you want to trim unwanted edges from your image, you can do that right from within Photo Mirage. Simply click the Crop icon to bring up the Crop box, as well as a number of handy Crop presets. To crop my image, I'll click on a corner of the Crop box and drag to alter its size, and then I'll click and drag from the center of the box to position it over the part of the image that I want to crop. Now by default, the crop box will maintain the proportions of your original image, but if you come over to the drop-down list of crop presets and select Freeform, you'll have no constraints over the proportions of your image so you can crop it exactly as you want. Coming back to the presets drop-down, as you can see there are a number of crop presets to choose from, including preset sizes that are optimized for social media and sharing sites. So in this example I'll choose Instagram, and then I'll adjust and drag my crop box up to where I want it to make a nice frame. If you want to take a look at your image without the area that will get trimmed off once you play your animation, you can click on the Crop Visibility layer. That'll hide the rest of the image. But what's great about the Crop tool is that it's totally non-destructive, meaning even after you save your cropped image, you can always change the crop area or undo the crop later on as your original image file isn't affected at all. So I'll save my file with the crop, open it back up, click the Crop Visibility layer again, and there's the rest of my image. Then lastly, under the Crop Presets dropdown, you can also choose to crop to popular photo and video sizes based on resolution or aspect ratio. So here I'll choose 1080 by 1920, which is vertical high definition, and I'll position my crop box to center the subject. When you're happy with your crop, just hit play and watch your cropped image turn into a compelling animation. When you're ready to export, Photo Mirage automatically chooses the export option that is closest to your crop preset for the best results. And that's it for the crop tool. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and don't forget to check out the rest of our tutorial videos under the welcome menu.